when you're luring with your dog, like this, has been going successfully and your dog will follow your lure into any of the behaviors you've asked him for, it's time to move to the next level. That means getting rid of the lure and transferring now to what's going to ultimately become a hand signal to your dog. And that's when you see people asking their dog to lay down or to sit just with an empty hand and no treat present. You're gonna use this hand in a very similar fashion to as if it had the treats in it, but you're gonna reward a moment later, same time after your click as you would have otherwise, but from the other hand. So it's going to look like this. If I were to ask Brody to sit, my hand is going to go up like it had treats, I click, and the treat now comes from over here, a remote location, so that this is going towards becoming a hand signal. Don't switch right away from the hand that looked like this with the treat to a flat hand trying to do this. This can be too difficult for your dog to distinguish right away and be confusing to him in the beginning. So, empty hand, as if I'm asking for a lure, a lure down but no treat in it, clicking at the same moment that I would have before and giving a treat. Likewise, getting him to sit back up, ready with a treat in the other hand, and then from the other hand. This can be a little tough at first with the clicker to manage putting the treats suddenly in this hand. But sometimes opening it up like that can help you navigate getting them out from there. When your hand signals are going really well and you flattened this hand out and it doesn't look like it could have a treat in it anymore, then you're getting to the point where you would start adding the verbal signals. But we're not there just yet. You'll probably have to work at this level for several weeks, both inside and outside, so that your dog's really reliable before you'll start trying to put words to it. If you try putting the words too early, you'll end up with that problem a lot of people do with their dogs, where you see them going down, 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 like a billion times, and the dog still hasn't laid down. So hold off adding the verbals until your dog's really successfully following hand signals.